Hey everyone, the story that 15 women faced verbal abuse and uh, sexual harassment allegations is both sad and shocking. But equally shocking is the timing as well as the publication. Think about it. The Washington Post broke the story Thursday night. This is Friday. The Washington Post. So I was thinking, gee, why is it making my spider sense tingle that it was the Washington Post that broke the story about the Washington Redskins? You would say, oh, it's logical. It's their jurisdiction. Is it? Why couldn't it have been, say, the USA Today or the New York Times or another publication? I mean, after all, this is the Internet age, right? And then my head remembered an image, a photograph of Amazon co-founder and the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos, in NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell's box for the Atlanta Super Bowl, Super Bowl 53. That was last year. Remember that? And people on Twitter were speculating, well, what's going on? Is he trying to get more streaming rights? But, but, fast forward to July 6th when the whole Redskins name change issue came up and news surfaced that Jeff Bezos' name was at the top of a list of possible future owners of the Washington NFL football team. And so I did a little more digging and discovered that as far back as 2013, Jeff Bezos' name was floated as a possible future owner of the Washington NFL football team. We have to call it that now because they don't have the Redskins in their name anymore. Yeah, but I digress. But then all of a sudden, okay, all of a sudden after the Redskins name is out, and there's no name, the story drops. And then I ran across another column in the Washington Post from 2013 speculating that Dan Snyder would have to literally be paid to get out of owning the NFL team given if someone wanted, if the, the people wanted Snyder to change the name. So now here we are to today. And you know what happens when this kind of story drops. Generally, it means that the owner is going to be sent packing. Generally. We saw that with Jerry Richardson. We saw that with... Donald Sterling, okay? And wouldn't it be just so nice for Bezos to come in, spend, what, $3 billion to acquire the Redskins and build, excuse me, I said it, NFL Washington team, and build the new stadium, and then thereby paying a franchise value that would enrich all the NFL owners during the pandemic, right? Just thinking. So it just so happens the story drops now. And no one has ever accused the Washington Post of checkbook journalism. But it just seems to fit right now. It just seems to fit. I'm just saying. This feels like it was engineered. Like this story was just sitting out there. You had the right people given the right incentives to come forward and talk, some on camera, at least one, and boom, here we are. It's still exploding. So we haven't got an idea of the blast radius just yet, but it's considerable. Think about it. This feels like 
a fix. And they always say follow the money because Jeff Bezos two years ago bought, bought the Washington Post, moved to Washington, moved to Washington, put Amazon headquarters in Washington. Hmm. Okay. It all seems to fit. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com. Hey, this is what happens when I click on the Washington Post page about Jeff Bezos owning the Post, where it reads in a surprising sale, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, is acquiring the Washington Post. So watch when I click on this. Jeff Bezos and the what? Sorry, we can't seem to find the page you're looking for. Sorry, these aren't, these aren't the droids you're looking for. Now, don't you find that interesting? I certainly do.